Hi all, it's the 23rd of September 2023 and today we're going to do a global storm outlook, looking at anything that seems of interest around the globe at the moment. There is an early spring heat wave going on in South America. It's in the region of Bolivia, Paraguay, southern Brazil and northern Argentina. Records are predicted to be broken in and these are all time records. But while we wait to hear about the temperature records, there is a more immediate concern from fires. And the winds are really gusting around this area. The Andes kind of are funneling the winds around and we've got 34 knot wind gusts in this direction. So we know which way the fires will be blowing and we'll see that in a minute on the satellite imagery. These winds are gonna continue. They die down at night and then sort of pick up during the day. And it looks like they continue through monday oh wow it gets even stronger on tuesday then a little weaker on wednesday then the, then you get a change so then it cools down so we're really looking at we'll look at the current situation but tuesday 26th of september in particular just before the change there's going to be strong winds picking up strong northwesterly winds that are going to be fanning any fires that exist here are still very hot but just before the change that's actually the change in there you can see right there it is currently nighttime over bolivia but you can see in the fire temperature product the signatures of various fires going on it does look like this one down here is the biggest so what i'm going to do is go back during the daytime yesterday and see what it looked like here is the view from yesterday afternoon, and it's the same fire region. The fires are, the heat signatures are there. I can't see too much of a plume in this, but this thunderstorm is interesting because it's moving. You can see it's moving in a different direction to the low level flow. So there must be some pretty decent wind shear that is coming out from the northeast, northeast wind shear that is pushing this thunderstorm in here. If these are dry thunderstorms, they might produce lightning that could trigger more fires as well. So that's a concern. And speaking of fires and thunderstorms, this actually was back on the 19th of September on the Brazil-Bolivia border. There was a pyrocumulonimbus that developed over a large fire there. The pyrocumulonimbus is a thunderstorm that is generated over a active wildfire. This is yesterday's NOAA 20 VERS view of Bolivia, and there is Paraguay down here. We've got the VERS heat signatures, and you can see there are a lot of heat signatures down there. Most of these are probably small fires, maybe agricultural, maybe forest clearing. You can also see the clouds streaking as the air flows and you can see the clouds bending as it passes the mountains, the edge of the mountains that stick out over here. So this is really our concern as we go into the next days and just before the cold change moves through and these winds pick up whether we'll be seeing larger and faster moving fires. Meanwhile, over North America, the United States, in particular, east and coast, we've got the landfall of Tropical Storm Ophelia. It intensified to Tropical Storm Strength and has now made landfall in North Carolina. Very heavy rain for a time with Ophelia as it moves up over North Carolina into Virginia. The HRRR is predicting over 100 millimeters in the worst of it. This is quite different from the European Center model, which backs it down, but that probably is the course of resolution not working too well. So I would go with the HRR as we may see those over 100 millimeter rainfall totals. Enough for some flash flooding. After Ophelia, the next system that's of interest, around 38 west, we've got a disturbance out here, which is forecast to develop into a tropical cyclone. We may have to wait a little bit for this system to develop, and also it doesn't look like it will reach the Caribbean or the United States, as it's forecast to get picked up by a trough at the moment in both the GFS and the ECMWF model, which is shown here. It does intensify to be fairly strong, though, in about six days. Let's head over to Europe. For Western Europe, this big swirling system is an ex-hurricane moving in towards the UK. And I think it was Hurricane Nigel, we'll check in a moment. But this system has led the Met Office to issue a yellow warning 
for persistent and heavy rain expected on Sunday up in Scotland with some flooding possible. To find out what hurricane this was, Ventu Sky is your friend with very useful is you can go back in time and label. The storms come up as labels with the names, yes. If we go back early yesterday, the label of Hurricane Nigel comes up, so it was Hurricane Nigel. Hurricane Nigel has been around for a long time. Here's what it looked back on the looked like back on the 19th of September when it was category 2, which was the peak intensity for its lifespan. If we check out the NOAA 20 Verus polar orbiting daily imagery, we can trace Nigel all the way back to the west coast of Africa, back on 8th of September. So it has had a long journey shown by this track. And that is all I've got time for at the moment as we look down on India from Himawari 9. We'll get to you in another video, India. And see you in the next one.